All right, Taurus, here we go. Taurus, this is a soulmate energies update for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. It's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here, I promise you you're here for a reason. It's a timeless reading, Taurus, so whenever you find it, you're meant to find it. This is my pre-shuffle. You've been looking at a ten of swords right there, ten swords in the back of a bison. To somebody, maybe to you, I don't know. Uh... The incoming energy, the energy around things is what this pre-shuffle is showing. Things may look like they're over. Dead. Done. Finished. Underneath that's the Eight of Swords driving somebody batshit crazy. Could be you, could be your person. I don't know. This seems to be very general energy here. It's a story. So I'm just going to flip you through the story here. Things seem like they're over. Driving somebody batshit crazy with this Eight of Swords. Could, be, could even be a divorce happening. Could, could be. Either way, karma of some kind is balancing. A cycle is ending. A new cycle is beginning. And that thing that looked over, that's worried about, somebody's worried about, whatever this justice is, the divorce, or just karma coming down on somebody, or a connection being over, whatever it is, this cycle that's ending and a new cycle that's beginning, is actually setting the stage for something new. The question is what? Well, the short answer is this ain't over. <laughs> it's judgment. <laughs> judgment is the bottom card underneath the Ten of Swords. What seems over and done and oh my God, it's over is not. This is resurrection. It's the universe itself. It's a destined kind of play, thing that needed to play out, whatever it is. But it's far from Ten of Swords over. I can tell you that from the energy, straight up. Let's shuffle the deck for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Let's see where we go here. All right. I'm working on Memorial... On, uh, no, not, not Memorial Day. Labor Day for you guys. It's a holiday here in the U.S. Labor Day. My wife is painting. So when she paints, there's nothing to do, really. So... I'm just doing some readings for all of you. I'm pulling some energies here today. Why not? She's over there being Bob Ross. And I'm over there acting like Bob Ross right here on camera. <laughs> Dirty Bob Ross, but still Bob Ross. Taurus, bottom of the deck. Actually, somebody is... Well, it's an impulsive energy. Something's coming towards you. All right? Knight of Wands. What card comes after that? There's something here that seems over, dead, done. It ain't. It ain't. Yeah. Five of uh, wands. Somebody's fighting the urge to come towards you. That's, that's all I'm getting. Okay. Let's see where we go. Let's pull a reading. We'll get our overall energy. We'll pull ourselves a reading here. Shuffle in the deck one last time for Taurus. Sun, moon, rise, and Venus. Soulmate energies. Current soulmate energies. What do we got here, universe? What you want to talk about? Mmm. Seven of Cups. There's a lot of illusion around things right now. There's a lot of confusion and illusion. Probably why things seem dead. Maybe they might be dead. Somebody might have said, I'm leaving. I'm done. You gone. I drove them batshit crazy the minute they did that, if that's the case for you with the Eight of Swords underneath the Ten of Swords that we had. What's the energy underneath all this confusion and illusion and delusion? It's that Five of Wands. It came back again. Yeah. Uh... It's just somebody's inner conflict. Somebody's working something out. Mm. Working out their happiness. Underneath that's the Ten of Cups. Happily ever after. Let's see where we go. This whole reading's clarifying the Seven of Cups. There's a lot of... Uh, I don't know. It's almost the Seven of Swords what I'm getting off of this. It's really strange. It's like... This is bullshit. Whatever this is, this, this thing that seems over, it's not. With judgment underneath the ten of swords at the bottom, no way. Energy around the connections right here, how your person feels is right here, how they feel about you is right here. Hidden energies is right here, what the universe wants you to know through me, and I'll tell you. And right here's the final outcome. I'm going to clarify everything, throw some universe cards over the top. If I think I need to extend this one, I will. I don't know yet. We'll find out when we get there. I only, I'm not here to nickel and dime nobody. Sometimes we get all the information we need right here. Let's find out. Roles can be reversed. I'm going to tell you that in this reading. Okay? 
Keep that in mind. But I'm going to read it as I'm reading the incoming energy. Although this is very, very down the middle energy. So it could go either way. What's the energy around this connection right now? What's the first card out after this Seven of Swords like Seven of Cups? And yeah, Five of Cups. Feels like it's over. Somebody's out. When, when this falls in my connection here in the energy around the connection, somebody is out in the cold. Both people are out in the cold here. It's a general energy down the middle for your reading. It's very strange. I have a feeling this, this reading is a very important a very important message for somebody. Maybe a lot of somebody's. I don't know. Yep, feels like it's over. Everybody out in the cold. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm not buying it because of this Seven of Cups. Fairy stories, illusion. It's a fairy story. It's nonsense. How does someone feel in their emotions? The hero. Something long-term, feels over. Something that was long-term, feels dead. Okay. All right. Yeah. Hmm, I don't know. It's a pretty weak energy to five of wands. It's weak. Okay. How does someone feel about you, Taurus? And their soul, not what they show you, not what they tell you. Again, roles can be reversed. Eight of Pentacles. Well, they want to work on it. Somebody wants to fix this. Somebody wants to come in from out of the cold. I've got it right here. They're bookending. It's something long term. I don't know. It could be a marriage. We saw the justice card. It could be a, it could be just a deep soul connection. It could be your soulmate connection. I don't know. But they want to work on it with you. They want to fix it. It's got to do with you. Because this is how they feel about you. Okay. What's the hidden energy? Red with this Five of Pentacles. Out in the cold. The Knight of Swords. Somebody fixing to come out of the cold, actually. See? Fairy illusions. The Knight of Swords. Uh, somebody's got something to say. They want to fix this. This, is, this was the card just before it. The universe says, yeah, somebody's coming in with a, a message and wants to talk about something that was long-term, that they feel out in the cold on, that they want to work on. Okay. Final outcome, red with this Hierophant. Four of Wands. It's a marriage. Four of Wands and the Hierophant, it's always a marriage. I'll make sure I put that in the title. It doesn't have to be a marriage. It could just be a relationship. You know, Marriage is just a piece of paper. Energetically speaking, I can't tell a married couple from an unmarried couple reading the couple. I can tell they're together and banging. That's about the best I can do. I can tell if they love each other. I can tell all sorts of things, but marriage is just a piece of paper. You might get married in a church. Good for you. But it's the government that signs the paperwork so you can get your tax cut here in the U.S. <laughs> and so a judge can throw the book at you when you get a divorce. Right here. Four wants. Happy new beginning. There's a happy new beginning coming to this marriage, this long-term commitment, whatever it is. Although every, right now everybody's out in the cold. And somebody playing fairy illusions and, oh, well, I'm done. I'm stubbornly done. I'm done. I'm done. This is over. It's done. It's over. No, it isn't. We saw the judgment card in our pre-shuffle. Let's clarify. Let's see where this is going. So far, it's going to a happy new beginning. And it's probably a marriage or a long-term commitment of some kind. Actually, it definitely is with these two cards here. And they're red together. Somebody fixing to come out of the cold and want to work on things. Although, they're working their damnedest to convince themselves and you and whoever that they're not interested. I got other options. I'm, they're looking at other options. Yeah. Okay. Sure. You keep doing that. Liar. Five of uh, Pentacles. Why is it here? Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Get these on camera, all pretty and stuff. Make everything look pretty. There we go. That's not all. Oh, that don't look pretty. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Let's go a layer deeper in the energy for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Why is this Five of Pentacles here, Universe? What you got for me? <laughs> Justice. It's probably somebody. Uh, this is a very specific story. Somebody is getting a divorce. You know, or breaking up. Okay, we'll just phrase it that way. 
Somebody breaking up. Because this can be a card of marriage, but it depends on what's around it. What's around it right now is the Five of Pentacles. But the thing is, I got an energy match here between the message from the universe and the Justice card. These cards are read together anyway. That's very powerful in and of itself that this landed here. So whatever this is, divorce, a breakup, leaving somebody out in the cold, it's not going to last long. It's fluff. It may go through if it's a divorce. For some of you, it may go through. But they just get back together, have a talk, and it ends with marriage and long-term commitment. So, what's justice? Uh, hey, I just read the energy in the cards. I know this is a very specific message. This video is going to get like six views. I know. And I'll be specific in the title. So, if you're here and you've got nothing to do with this, I don't know why you're here. Uh, my title would have been very specific. I'm going to have to be. Eight of Swords. Again, they came back from the bottom of the deck in reverse order. They're now at the top. Now the bottom is the world. A cycle is ending and a new cycle is beginning, and it's making everybody go crazy in their head. Eight of Swords. Jailhouse of the mind, overthinking. Because they're out in the cold. I'm reminded of a Cheryl Crow song. If it makes you happy, then why the hell are you so sad? It was about her parents' divorce. It was written about, I believe. Or somebody's divorce. Um, this is very similar energy. You know, uh, somebody claiming bullshit that they want out, but they don't really, in their soul, want out. Because the soul energy is over here. They want to work on it. And the soul. This is all ego energy here, and this is the result of what's happening. This here is them coming back. And, you know, a cycle is ending, and somebody is not sure if it's the right thing to do. Why is the Hierophant here? Tell me about this. Why is the Hierophant here? I don't necessarily care if, if, if it's a specific reading. I'm only here to study the connection cycle, and if it helps one person, great. So if only one person's watching this, if this is just resonating with one person, I'm perfectly fine with that. I ain't here to chasing views, as they say, as the kids in YouTube say. I don't much care. Hierophant, I'm blown away as many people are here as they are. I'm a little different and controversial. I can kind of... <laughs> people either take me or leave me. Ain't nobody down the middle about Steve. <laughs> That's never happened. <laughs> Not in my life, anyway. I'm surprised a little bit but this is a very specific reading this is this is a narrow band of energy down the middle this can't be for more than 100 people I don't know Hierophant why is it here six of Pentacles a long-term commitment went out of whack somebody was not given to it and the other person may have strayed the other person may have taken off there was no reciprocation. Energy requires reciprocation to flow. Whether it's your device you're watching me on, your car, your body, anything, it requires reciprocation to flow. There was no reciprocation here. It's one of those situations where if it's a marriage or a long-term commitment, one person was too, bit too focused on work and not focused on the other, and the other went off and started banging someone because of it. I mean, it happens. That's the way it goes. There ain't no reason to... Well, I mean, it is. It depends on the situation, but... An adult conversation is obviously needed here. I think that's what this Knight of Swords is about. Why is the um, Six of Pentacles here? Yeah. Tower. Everything I just told you caused a tower, caused a breakup. The lack of reciprocation, everything I just told you, tower. Brought everything down to the foundation. Now we got a divorce happening, we got somebody up in their head, everybody's out in the cold, and it's all bullshit. It's all fucking crap. It's a big waste of time because in the soul, whoever is initiating this, it could be both, but whoever is initiating this wants to work on things. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? It's a whole load of horse hooey. People, somebody needs to grow up here, have an adult conversation about what happened and fix this shit. This is silliness. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Soul energy right now. 
how someone really feels either you or your person this is a thin band of energy down the middle I you know you're gonna have to only you know who this applies to eight of Pentacles they want to work on things well the crossing energy for whatever the two cards that come out here is the five of cups somebody feeling regret yeah probably regret about overreacting and causing a tower yeah somebody wants to speak the truth they want to have an adult conversation Queen of Swords that's a snowy owl on there that is one of the largest owls in North America it's a powerful owl it's on the card for a reason adult conversation somebody wants to work on things in the soul and talk and have a conversation we see see it here the message from the universe is somebody has a specific thing they want to say they want you know and temperance yeah temperance forgiveness balance of energy patience somebody needs to grow the fuck up that's what's happening here somebody's acting the fool I don't have a fool, but somebody's acting the fool. Temperance is about growing up. I often say this, if this is a marriage or a long-term commitment, which it is, marriage and long-term commitment are for grown-ups, not for children. You're not going to stay married 30 years if you're a little baby, if you don't talk about your emotions and you're all shut down. And, well, they weren't paying attention to me, so I'm going to go, I'm going to go bang this chick from the whatever. No. No, no, no. You sit down, you have an adult conversation, and you talk about your needs. And in, in that process, you might find out that, that the other person isn't for you. They're not mature enough. Because if they try to turn it around, if you're just trying to express your needs, and they try to turn it around on you and make it sound like, well, then you, you did this and you did that. No, that's not adult. That's not grown-up. Grown-up conversation. Somebody, somebody actually is figuring out that that's what's required here. In the soul, they want to talk about this and fix it, whatever this is. Knight of Swords, why is it here? There's a lot of regret around these energies. I showed you the sad horse. I don't always show you the crossing energy, but I did show that to you for a reason. Why is the uh, Knight of Swords here? This card's red with justice. It's the hermit. Somebody who's, who's ever initiating this and causing this tower isn't even sure if it's the right thing to do within themselves. That's what this Eight of Swords is here for. So everybody's out in the cold here because somebody isn't mature enough and needs to find the temperance. Temperance is the lesson. Temperance is what we learn in life. It's a very important card in the tarot. It's one of the things you're judged on when you get to the judgment card just before the world. And you either get kicked back to the fool when the judgment says nope, or you pass through to the world. Either or, and then move on to start, go back to the fool on a higher plane. Either way, this is the lesson in life. It's the card of the angel. It's about temperance. It's about Balancing your emotions, balancing learning, balancing your energy, balancing your chakras, however you want to call it. It is one of the most, if not the most important lesson in the tarot. Somebody needs to learn it and have an adult conversation here. Their, their soul already knows it. This is all ego energy over here. Hermit. Why is the hermit here? The Wheel of Fortune. Again, the universe is saying somebody not even sure if they even want this breakup or whatever is causing this tower. They're all up in their head about it. And the Wheel of Fortune is here saying it's, it's all supposed to happen this way because somebody's supposed to learn a lesson. It's the Wheel of Destiny. The wheel is turning. This is going to stop. Looks like adult conversation happens because our final outcome is marriage, long-term commitment, happy new beginning. The Four of Wands. Let's find out. Why is the Four of Wands here? This is why the Four of Wands is here. The Wheel of Fortune is why. This is the universe. It's the Wheel of Destiny. You don't go against that. If you do, you get a tower. <laughs> and that's what happened already. Somebody went against the Wheel of Destiny. Somebody just needed to have an adult conversation and none of this shit would be happening. Because it's all bullshit. All I get off this Seven of, of Cups is bullshit. Fairy illusions and... Da -da 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 -da. It's the flightiest energy. It's almost the Seven of Swords. And I think, you know, 
it's deeper than self-deception it's it's love deception you know it's cups it's emotional deception that's all four of wands why is it here okay i got my shuffle three of cups yeah somebody stepped out somebody cheated this card is red with the uh six of pentacles Somebody stepped out on this or either emotionally cheated or physically cheated. I don't know what it was. There's a third party here. And somebody kept their emotions. This Three of Cups is about the flow of emotion. It's about this mature conversation that needs to happen with temperance. But that didn't happen. Somebody brought in. It didn't happen because it's red with the Six of Pentacles, which is the non-reciprocation which caused the tower. Somebody stepped out here on a long-term commitment. And they're lying to themselves that they don't want to make it work within that commitment. And it's causing a tower. It's causing eight of swords within them. And it's causing the universe to step in. This hermit is funny. This is the funniest hermit I've ever seen because it, this person doesn't even know if this is what they want. Why is the three of cups here? Four of swords. Healing ha the, the tower is causing healing to happen within this person. Okay? Tower is causing healing to happen within this person. The crossing card from the bottom of the deck, by the way, is the Six of Wands. That's going to bring victory and transformation. That's where the communication happens. The star here, it's all delayed. The universe itself, I see it right here. We saw the world already. It was crossing this. I showed it to you. Right here. It, it's being delayed by the universe until somebody pulls their head out of their ass. That's, this is pull your head out of your ass upright. So light up that third eye, start seeing things for how they are, and we got victory. We got transformation right here. Puts an end to the tower. It's happening soon, but it's not happening yet. Two of wands. Let's get through, uh, three cards from the universe here. Anything else you want to tell Taurus about this? All right. What, what message you got for Taurus, universe? What do you want to tell them? Okay. Yeah. Communication is coming. It's going to take a spell for somebody to figure it out. The Seven of Pentacles. This is the Page of Pentacles. Somebody communicating. Somebody, somebody will realize where their happiness is. See, they got the rainbow on temperance, too. They will get it together. Seven of Pentacles here tells me it's divine timing. I hate divine timing. But it is. Somebody's coming to work on it. It's what they want to do. Three of Pentacles. Work on it. It's right here in the soul. Eight of Pentacles. They want to work on this and come out of the cold. They do. They, an adult conversation needs to happen, but somebody needs to find temperance within themselves. And it's, it's, it's going to take a little bit of a spell. This divorce, if it's a divorce, might even go through. But there's a reconciliation happening here with the Three of Pentacles in particular. Also, the Three of Cups is a card of reconciliation. So I've got reconciliation all over the place and I've got a reading that's clarifying bullshit. I call bullshit on all of this. Somebody needs to grow up here, whoever it is. Whoever it is doesn't even believe in this breakup themselves. I call bullshit. <laughs> the last two cards at the bottom are the Eight of Wands and the Page of Swords. Whoever is doing this, the one I call bullshit on is not only spying and all of that, it's all just going to lead to communication. The communication is going to happen. The Eight of Wands is communication that comes out of nowhere. Somebody's still keeping an eye on things. It's, it's fresh in their mind. Yeah, they might be looking at other options. That's a part, a part of the meaning of the card anyway. It's not in the energy, but uh, I sometimes am drawn to these little dots around this little barn owl here. And yeah, they might be looking at other options, but nothing, nothing's as good as what they're watching here. That's why they want to build things. It's going to take a spell, though. This person needs to, wh whoever this energy belongs to needs to grow the fuck up. Seriously, because this is this is silly. An adult conversation, fix all of this. And the universe is very clear about that. Conversation, conversation solves all of this. Makes all of it fine. Instead, somebody's silent Bob. Right, let's just go through. Sitting on the fence, not sure what to do. Mask of their feelings, pretending this is what they want when it's not what they want. Queen of Wands. We're on our way to happiness here. Five of Wands, come back again. 
this nonsense. Nonsense. Underneath the nonsense is the happily ever after, the Ten of Cups. That's the happiness. That's the rainbow. That's the rainbow that's on this page of pentacles but that's pretty far back in the deck here five one two three four five it's six card seven like i said it's card seven it's seven pentacles it's going to take a spell i said right it's card seven where's this happiness it's going to take this happiness and communication a spell a long time a little bit of time divine timing seven pentacles one two three four five Six, seven, the happiness. How's that for symmetry? Huh? There's your reading. So that's it. It's a very specific reading. No need to extend it. It's pretty damn cut and dry. It's just, you know, there's nothing you can do. Whoever this energy belongs to, which I assume for most of you, it's the incoming energy. It's the other person. You got to just leave them alone, Taurus, and let them figure it out. Let them find the angel card here. The angel energy is doing its work. I don't see a devil here anywhere. And I went pretty far to the bottom of the deck, and I still don't see a devil. There still isn't a devil even after this Ten of, uh, ten of Cups, because under the Ten of Cups is the Queen of Cups, the most loved one human being can feel for another. Whoever is initiating this breakup loves the other person beyond belief. But hell, if the other person would know, probably treating them like shit on the outside. Because they're an immature fuckwit. Emotionally immature anyway. So, they'll figure it out. It's clear from the cards. Let it play out. That's my advice. Go about your life. Have fun. Go bang somebody yourself. If this reading be, belongs to you, knock yourself out. They want If someone wants to leave you, let them leave. They'll regret it. And I'll tell you, nothing, nothing makes them regret it more than when the person they left starts banging someone else. <laughs> tell you what, they come back, they come back like that. It happens every time. It happens every time. Whoa, well, that, we can't have that. You know, especially if it's a dude. Dudes don't want nobody else seeing their chick naked. That's the whole thing. That's that's you know, they come rushing in. Okay, because this is all bullshit. This breakup, it's it's bullshit. All right. Well, I know it's a specific reading, so for the one person it probably helped. I hope I helped you. I get the same amount of karma whether it's one person or a thousand. It don't matter. So, hey, good for me. Um, if you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. appreciate all the subscribers and everyone who shares and all that. All right, Taurus, that's your energy update. I know, very specific, but it is what it is. I just read the energies. Don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> all right, good luck.